Today I've got a nice limit that's from the 2011 Virginia Tech Regional Math Competition. So this is a math competition for college students in the United States. So our goal is to find the limit as x goes to infinity of 2x to the power 1 plus 1 over 2x minus x to the power 1 plus 1 over x minus x. And we're going to use two main tools here. First is that z to the w power is the same thing as e to the w times natural log of z. That'll be helpful for this first and second term. And then we'll also need the Taylor or maybe the Maclaurin expansion of the exponential function. So let's recall that e to the u is the sum as n goes from 0 to infinity of u to the n over n factorial. Okay, so let's get started using this first fact. So I'll take this first term and the second term and rewrite it with this first fact. So here we have the limit as x goes to infinity. And then this first term becomes 2x times e to the 1 over 2x times the natural log of 2x. So notice I factored a 2x out of that, but I think that's okay. That's because we have this 1 plus 1 over 2x here. So it's kind of obvious to do that. And then we'll do the same thing for this second term. So that'll be minus x. And then we have e to the 1 over x times the natural log of x. And then finally minus x. So like I just said... This one that I'm underlining in purple is a rewriting of this one that I'm underlining in purple. And rewriting this one underlined in red is this guy over here. Okay, so from here what we'll do is expand each of these exponentials using our second rule down here. So let's see, I'll bring this limit down. We have the limit as x goes to infinity. And then we have 2x. This is going to give us the sum as n goes from 0 up to infinity of, let's see, there's a lot going on here. We have the natural log of 2x. That whole thing is raised to the nth power over 2 to the n x to the n times n factorial. So that's what we get for this one that's in purple. And then for this one that's in red, we have minus x. And then the sum as n goes from 0 up to infinity of the natural log of x all raised to the nth power over x to the n times n factorial. And then we subtract x off. Okay, so that's where we are. Now what we'll do is do a little bit of simplification first. So notice this 2x. We'll cancel this down to a 2 to the n minus 1 and an x to the n minus 1. This x will cancel this down to an x to the n minus 1. Then next up, we'll pull out the first, or maybe I should say the zeroth and the first terms from these sums and leave us with the infinite tail starting at the second term. So here we have, this is the limit as x goes to infinity. So the zeroth term of this will be 2x. Notice n factorial is 0. This stuff in the numerator to the 0th power is 1. And then we have 2 to the negative 1 in the denominator and x to the negative 1 in the denominator. So just to maybe be super clear here, this is the n equals 0 term. And then what is the n equals 1 term? Well, let's write that out. So the n equals 1 term will be the natural log of 2x over well, one factorial, so that's just the natural log of 2x. So let's write that like this. And like I said, this is the n equals one term. Great, then we'll put all of the rest of the terms into one piece. So this will be the sum as n goes from two up to infinity of the natural log of 2x to the nth power over two to the n minus one, x to the n minus one times n factorial. Okay, nice. Now we're going to do the same kind of thing for this second sum. Let's pull out the zeroth term. So notice the zeroth term here will be x. And then we'll pull out the first term as well, which will be the natural log of x. And then we have the rest of the terms, which will be the sum as n goes from 2 up to infinity 
of the natural log of x all raised to the n power over x to the n minus one times n factorial. And then we bring down this minus x, which is kind of outside all of the sums. Now let's notice that this 2x minus x minus x cancels. So let's make that cancel. And then we can use logarithm rules to expand this guy out to the natural log of two plus the natural log of x. But now we have natural log of x minus natural log of x, so that will cancel as well. And so that leaves us with the limit of the natural log of two plus this sum and then minus this sum. So let's start the top of the next board with that. Hey guys, I'm Justin, and I'd like to ask you to consider subscribing to the channel. Me and Michael are working really hard towards reaching our goal of pi 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year, and I believe that we can do it. Thanks for all your support, and enjoy the video. So in the last board, we determined that our goal limit was equal to the natural log of 2 plus the limit as x goes to infinity of these kind of remainder terms. And now I'm gonna motivate the ability to bring this limit inside of these sums. And I'll do that by calculating the radius of convergence of this series, this second series, which you can in parallel calculate the radius of convergence of this first series. And you'll see that the radius of convergence will be infinite, thus allowing us to bring this limit inside of the sum. Okay, so anyway, we'll use the ratio test to calculate the radius of convergence here. So we'll take the limit as n goes to infinity of the n plus first term of this divided by the nth term of this. The n plus first term will be the natural log of x to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 factorial times x to the n. So like I said, that's the n plus first term. Now we're going to divide that by the nth term, but that's really like multiplying by the reciprocal. So that'll be n factorial x to the n minus 1 over the natural log of x to the n. You might say I'm missing some absolute values here, but notice all of the terms are positive given that we're taking x to infinity. So we can take x large enough to ensure that everything is positive. Now let's notice that this stuff simplifies quite a bit. So this n factorial will cancel this n plus 1 factorial down just to an n plus 1. This natural log of x to the n will cancel this natural log of x to the n plus 1 down just to the natural log of x. And then likewise, this cancels this down just to an x. But since we're fixing x in terms of this inner limit having to do with n, as n goes to infinity, this thing goes to zero. And that's true for all x, which tells us that this radius of convergence is in fact infinity. And thus, we can really just determine the limit of the terms for each of these sums, and that'll be enough. Okay, so now let's finish this thing off by finding the limit of the terms of these sums. And again, we'll just focus on this one. The first one will follow very similarly, maybe like in parallel. So let's take the limit as x goes to infinity of the natural log of x to the n power over x to the n minus one, keeping in mind here that this is in the setup where n is bigger than or equal to two. That's important. So let's perform a change of variables on this limit. So let's say x is equal to e to the u. That means the natural log of x is equal to u to the n. That gives us the limit as u goes to infinity of u to the n over, let's see, this will be e to the n minus one times u. So we've got an exponential in the denominator and then a polynomial in the numerator, but we know that exponentials always beat polynomials. So this limit is equal to zero. And then by the argument here with our radius of convergence, we can bring this limit inside of this and that tells us that all of this goes to zero and all of this goes to zero. And we're left with our final solution, which is our goal limit is just equal to the natural log of two. And that's a good place to stop. Music